Hey, YouTube world, this is your girl, Shawan Shanique. Shawan Shanique. Hey, y'all. Oh, wow, that was a lovely intro. Okay, y'all, so today I'm going to do air fried boneless chicken breast. And I'm gonna show y'all the frozen bag. It's just this regular boneless skinless chicken breast that I got from Walmart. I already seasoned my meat and it's thawed as you can see. Oh, I cleaned up later with the juices. And I'm gonna show y'all the seasoning that I use which is just regular season. You got your black pepper. What's this? Some onion powder, seasoned salt. Oh, that was garlic. Wait a minute, where my garlic powder? Oh, so evidently I was just putting two onion powders on it, but <laughs> I also have garlic powder, but evidently I must be out. I thought I had it, so I gotta find some more garlic powder. Oh well. So the meat is seasoned. I have some. I'm gonna try this for the first time because I see people always wet it. <laughs> I got this egg beater yolk. I'm gonna dip the chicken in before I flout it. Just to see how it goes. I didn't even spray the pan, but I'm gonna spray the pan. So I pour it in this bowl. Maybe I need to spray the pan first before I put it in here because I don't have to flour it first. And you always supposed to spray your air fryer. I just use just this. And I spray a lot. Like, I be trying to double coat it. Like, I spray a whole lot. So let's see how this is. Get it wet with the egg yolk. I only have two pieces, cause that's all I really need. And then I'm gonna have another video next with some fries. I don't know which one gonna be first. So I'm not gonna talk about it. So I got it in the yolk and I got some flour in here. Yes, I use my butter tools for everything. So I'm just gonna lightly coat it with the flour. Look at that mess. Look, you saw that poof. Ha! Ah! That was a poof. And I'm really getting the coat. Good and coated. Good and coated. Yeah, just to see how it do. Oh God, flowers fly everywhere. Try the next one. And I usually, I've done this before with flour, but I've never put in <laughs> batter on it. And I probably ain't even supposed to be using no egg beater batter, but I don't have eggs to crack, so. And I just started using that because I was too lazy to crack open the egg. Because I don't even eat it like that. So whenever I want some, I just pour a little bit in the frying pan. Yes, I'm trying to get it good and coated because this is my first time. And I know you're not supposed to have a lot of flour on it because it makes it take longer. But yeah, it's thick. So I'm gonna do this. I always do 400, you see? And I'm gonna do 30 minutes. Because it's heavily coated, and then, I'm wiping the glove off so I can take it off. Then I'm gonna come back when it gets kind of like down to probably 10 minutes. And then, like how we normally do, spray 
whatever white portions I see and then put it back on. I'm probably gonna put it back on for like another 15 minutes only because it is, I think I put a lot of flour on it. So I'll be back you guys. Okay, y'all, so we back. It has been 10 minutes. And I'm gonna show y'all what the chicken looks like. Oh, this thing kinda hot. Hmm, let me see, how can I do this? Okay, so y'all see this? All I'm doing is, with this, spraying the white part. And also, what I like to do is, I like to get it from being unstuck to the bottom because I know it is. Eh, just try to like, eh. Keep them getting burned. So, see, make sure I get all the... white spots. And sometimes I do like to flip the whole chicken over. Am I gonna do that this time? Yeah, I'm just gonna flip it over. And once I flip it over, I'm gonna let y'all see the other side. And if it's white spots on that side, I'm gonna spray it too. Some people don't flip their chicken over, they just leave it like that, but this is the first time I, I think the second time, I'm going to flip it over, which I probably shouldn't, but I am. It's more a softer to the bottom, but that was because it was on the bottom. And plus, I'm going to spray this side. And so, last time I did 10 minutes like this, but I'm doing 15 because I want to stay crunchy. So, I think I can just do... 15 and hit start. Nope. So, I'm going to go back to 400, do 15, then start. And so, I'm going to come back in another 15 minutes to see how it is, to see if I'm ready to plate. Yada, 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 yada. So we was, oh, while it's going, I can show y'all my dipping sauce that I do to me. I think I'm all out. Yeah, I think I am. God dang it. I usually do the um, chipotle sauce and, ran and blue cheese, but all I think I got is, is blue cheese. So, since I'm out, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do ranch and Chick-fil-A sauce. Yes, I have a lot of Chick-fil-A sauces. I have a little mini collection. Now that you wanna talk about it. You worrying about my business? worry about my business. I don't like that. I guess two cups is enough. Because what I do is when I eat my chicken and cut it up in there. Blue cheese is my favorite. And I'm pretty low. Yep. Time to buy some more. Chipotle sauce and blue cheese. That's gonna be so good. And it give it a little kick. I'm gonna put some Texas P in it. And I probably gonna dip my french fries in this too. Yep, mm -hmm. some people do mayonnaise and ketchup. This is what I do. So, I'll be back when this stops. All right, y'all. This should be the final product. I'm about to take it out. One 
one side, other side. It's crispy. Put them plastic to show it to you. Can y'all see that? Y'all want me to cut it in? I know, I know. I'm gonna cut it. Just so you can see how the insides look. Oh. Look at that steam. Can y'all see it? Good and cook. About to be good. Oh yeah. Season flour, air fried, boneless chicken thighs, great value, Walmart brand. Tastes good.